Hi everybody and welcome to the Hygienic Art Park in sunny, seasonal New London. Very sunny. I'm Rick Coster. This is Jeff Fresh over here. Welcome to Live Lunch Break. It happens every week, but this is the first one of the outdoor season. It's good to be back. It's toasty out here, isn't it, Jeff? A little bit. Hey, thank you guys. Thanks for showing up. It's always fun out here. And as you may remember from last year, there's Desiree out there with the Supreme Hot Dog Cart. Hi, Desiree. And if you guys have not tried her Georgia Hops, I'm a Southern boy, and I'm telling you, the Georgia Hot is the way to go. She so, had kielbasa? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm a Polish boy. That's <laughs> how we roll. Yeah, and we had... This is something you'll learn happens, that I believe that the... The ferry is in the key of C, and the train is... Is that right? I don't know. Maybe it'll be a, a third or a fifth for a harmony. Anyway, we are pleased I think today. I an E-flat minor. <laughs> Ooh. We'll go with that. That's, a, that's the devil's chord. <laughs> We're very pleased to have with us today a, a really, really fine songwriter. This is Jeff Fresh. And a lot of times you can find him with his band, The Outfit, throwing down a bit of a different sound, but you were the songwriter, you were the singer, and it's really neat to hear how the tunes work in different dynamics. Obviously, Jeff is solo with us today. And we also welcome, uh, this is the first time we've had the hygienic with Sarah in charge. She's off running errands somewhere because she's busy. And also thanks to Keith over here, our, the new sound guy. Hi, Keith. Next one. All right, I have uh, meandered verbally long enough through the morass of my brain, and y'all put your hands together and say hi to Jeff Fresh. Can you say morass on the air? I don't know. How you doing, everybody? Nice to be down here. It's a beautiful day. Uh, thanks to everybody at the day and so on and so forth for having me. Uh, like Rick said, um, I have somewhat of a new band uh, called Jeff Fresh and the Outfit, me being the Jeff Fresh part. Um, we just put out a single last Friday the 17th, and I'm going to start with that one. The song's called Under Your Skin. So bring it coming my way, it's all the strange Heard you see it, you like my face and the rest of me a little bit too. Got my attention, I'm still tall for the first time since God knows when. Got chills too, I can tell by the way that you say, won't see me again. Let's flip a coin as high as we can, and watch it land on its side. It's a sticky situation we've gotten into Strap it into the night You made me feel better about me Show me things that I couldn't see Tell me how I'm under your skin It's a damn good place to be Remember that night Sing some song and you watch from the corner of your eye. You won't be as a marching later with the story. You need to string your life. Mary in the shadows, I look on your face, I can see what you have in mind. I kissed your mouth and you bit your lips. The stars in your eyes pull shine.
Oh, here we go again. I guess we got some talking to do. They got the perfect fit. The circle was broken and the situation's coming new. Your hand on the that don't scare me. I know my old will is strong. My life's up where I thought we'd be, but we'll wind up where we belong. So keep going as high as we can. Thanks very much. Here's one of those crazy tunings Rick was talking about. Not really so crazy. I also put out a solo record last year called Sounds Like Fresh because if you see my last name written up here, you might be like, how on earth do you say that? Well, it sounds like fresh with a P. Clever, I know, huh? Marketing 101. Anyway, this is a song, uh, this is the first track actually off uh, the record that came out last year. It's a song about a little town in Vermont called Eden, and uh, it's what the song's called too.
Back out on this two-lane road as quickly as I can. If I'd have blinked, I might have missed this town. And never called for me. And Cassie stands and waits and moves her hair off of her face. But I got some place to be. Maybe she'll get to her someday. The streets of empty buildings seen through this same design. There ain't no postcard. Thank you. Thanks very much. All right, this next one's a song I wrote a long time ago. I haven't recorded it yet, but uh, me and the rest of the guys in the outfit, we're going to be recording this one well, fall, winter, something like that, whenever, whenever we get around to it, basically. We got uh, a bunch of other songs to put out first. Um, like I said, we just had a single that came out last week. We're going to have another one in August, October, and December. Um, in this streaming culture that we live in these days, which, you know, I'm not, I don't necessarily have a problem with. It is what it is, but uh, we figured singles was the best way to go this time. Um, but uh, you can download Under Your Skin on CD Baby and what else? Bandcamp, Amazon, iTunes, all the good stuff. And I also have download cards up here later on, but uh, I'll talk, to, talk about that in a little bit. Anyway, this is a song, like I said, I wrote it a long time ago. It's called Yellow Lines. It goes like this. come from? Where have you been? All the same tight question, shadowing you again. It's been so long, you can't remember when, or even hear yourself blink in the commotion and the din. Too many faces in unfamiliar places. Sometimes it's better to be left alone in your own spaces. The time for connections always moving on in another direction. At the end of the day, on your left way is your own reflection. You ever get the feeling when your life feels like a Monday morning? You long for it to be more like it means a Sunday afternoon. You tied up so tight, you can't let yourself unwind, or even take a minute just to sing. Those yellow lines you left behind. Where are you going? Where does it lead? Can you ever even tell what you want and what you need? Best things in life, you don't always come for free. And you'll never see the forest while you're hanging from the tree. The world's got teeth and they're sharper than you thought. They ain't gonna bite you if you can't be sold the ball. Keep looking for answers, but the questions. When your life feels like a Monday morning Long for it to be more like an easy Sunday afternoon You're tied up so tight You can't let yourself unwind Or even take a minute just to see Those yellow lines you left behind Ever get the feeling when your life feels like a Monday morning? You 
And long for it to be more like it is a Sunday afternoon You're tied up so tight, you can't let yourself a while Thank you. That train actually is a great segue into this next song. Oh, look at that. Couldn't have planned that any better. Alright, this next song is a, another song off my first record that came out last year. I have copies of that for sale up here as well. Um, it's a song I wrote about a railroad down in Virginia and the Carolinas. I saw a documentary on the History Channel about the building of it, and uh, it looked really interesting to me. So I wrote this song from the perspective of a young guy who um, was working on the railroad, so to speak. Uh, like a lot of young men were at the time, and uh, just what life might have been like for him. Uh, the song's called Clinchfield Rail. So thick and black, cut it with my knife. It's been four months or maybe more since I've seen my pretty wife. Where I'm home before too long, it's probably just a dream. To be my newborn son, he's waiting there for me. Every day is longer than the one that came before. Carving earth and moving rock until my body can take no more. Two hundred miles ahead to reach that Carolina line. I gotta get that cold Spartan burn from the old Virginia mine. The Lord will really come and bring your eyes. Make it to see my next sunrise. I'll be home by Christmas time If the punch feel will get through Appalachian sky so blue and the sun it burns so bright. Sit around the campfire singing lonely songs at night. Each night there's one more missing who didn't last a day. Falling to their death, someone else keeping their pain. Buried in solid graves beneath they didn't be to fill. They gave their lives to make the living. Now they never will Still a hundred miles ahead to Reach that Carolina line Gotta get that cold spark And burn from the old Virginia mine The good Lord will And the creek go right I'll make it to see my next sunrise I'll be home Christmas time If the bridge feel it gets through If 
all these tunnels and these bridges I sacrificed my life and it's been four years of me remorse to see my pretty wife Town starts to look the same as we drive on through these hills. Through the backcountry land with black diamonds and the smoke and moonshine still. The Blue Ridge Mountains stand before me, promise that they own. To connect this Appalachian land to the rest of the world. We're only 50 miles ahead to reach that Carolina line. Gotta get that cold spark burn from the old Virginia mine. We're going to win and the great door ride. Make it to see my next sunrise. I'll be home by Christmas time. If the Grinch feel real good. Thank you very much. Jeff Presh, everybody. That's right. Thank you. Thank you all for being here at uh, Live Lunch Break, the inaugural outdoor show of the season. I'm Rick Coster from The Day. We stream at theday.com. These shows are all archived all the way back four years and hundreds of episodes. Can't believe we've been doing that this long. And that's why I look so old. But... <laughs> So yeah, the supreme hot dogs are savory, the beer is cold, the sun is mellowly pleasant, and the music, Jeff, is tremendous. Well, thank you. Thank you very much. Appreciate that. Um, we were talking, uh, you know, when we were getting to know each other a little bit bef before this started, and like a lot of folks uh, of an age, Jeff, you grew up uh, listening to hair metal, still do. That's right. Uh, no shame in that game, No folks. shame in uh -uh. that, absolutely. I'm always interested in the path that an artist takes. Uh, you know, we all grow up, the music imprints us as we, at a certain age. You hear new stuff and you end up... But what you're doing now, where did that direction come from? Not hair metal. <laughs> Clearly. Clearly. Not, not, not in the Poison songbook? <laughs> no. No, certainly not. Um, I don't know. I, it, just, it just came. You know, I think as songwriters, we write about what we feel. We write about, to a certain extent, what we know and the things that we don't know. We try and make up as best as we can. You know, take that last song, for example. I have no idea what it's like to right. uh, to work on a railroad and watch people die all around you. But right. uh, you use imagination to try and put yourself in that spot and to try and create the best narrative that you can. Well... And you did, that's a really evocative tune. Well, thank you. Um, structurally, I'm all, hair metal, high volume, a lot of major chords. Uh, what you're doing, a lot of minor chords, a lot of open string chords. There's a few, yeah. yeah. Um, where'd that come from? You're just playing around? Or? People like Ryan Adams. Yeah. Uh, people like Jason Isbell. Um, is the, by the way, is Jason Isbell... Sort of the best songwriter in the world right now. There's not sort of, not sort of. So yeah, if you all don't know about Jason Isbell, do it. Yeah, find it. Wait until after this show, but <laughs> then go do it twice. Pick up one of Jeff's CDs. He's actually he's, uh, Jason's actually coming back to College Street Music yeah, Hall in, in New Haven. October. Right? Yeah, we'll yep. be there. Oh, absolutely. Yep. Elephant. My fiance and I and uh, my daughter. She's coming too. So. Unbelievable. Anyway, so you were talking about how listening to those guys mm -hmm. uh, led you down that sort of narrative path. Yeah, I, yeah, I would say so. And then, you know, just I try and be authentic. Um, actually, I suppose that's kind of a paradox, isn't it? I'd like to think I am authentic. If you're trying to be authentic, are you really authentic? But uh, just, just in terms of delivery and the way I play and, the, you know, the way I, I try to sing... Uh, I just go back to some of my heroes. Um, you know, a lot of people call my music country, and in a lot of ways, that's a dirty word these days. But you know, I'm, you're not going to find me singing about you know wine coolers and <laughs> tailgates and things like that. 
You are uh, not bro country. No, I'm th- definitely not bro country. I didn't, you know, this is not a trucker hat worn backwards. <laughs> Although I do that sometimes. But uh, when, I, when I think country music, I think Waylon Jennings. I think Chris Christopherson. I think Merle Haggard. I think Johnny Cash. I think Willie Nelson. And, uh, you know, especially as far as delivery goes, I could listen to Waylon Jennings 24 hours a day, seven days a week, and not get tired of it. Absolutely. Um, Chris Christopherson, who turned 80. Uh, happy birthday, Chris, if happy you're watching, birthday, even though you're probably not. Happy birthday anyway. <laughs> probably the greatest storyteller in the country music realm, I, I, I would think anyway. I'm happy to debate that with anybody. But uh, Sunday morning coming down. Absolutely. Yep, the way to hold my head that didn't hurt. Yeah, we've all been there. Boy, isn't that the truth? That that's the best encapsulation of a hangover I've ever heard. (laughs) Yeah, and and I have been there. So, Um, I think it's interesting that you name checked all those guys, all of them tremendous writers. And listening to you, that first set, I could have believed that you grew up in that in the Texas Hill Country with Robert Earl Keane or whatever. Ray Wiley but, Hubbard. Yeah, Ray Wiley, that Dallas no. boy. James McMurtry. <laughs> but, but I'm opening yeah. for his son at Cafe 9 in a couple weeks. Actually. Are you really? Yeah, shameless plug. No, July 12th. Well, July 12th, Cafe 9, that. New Haven. I'll be uh, playing with Curtis McMurtry. So. It's hard to believe that he's already got a kid that old. <laughs> um, but yet you're from, you're from up here. Yep, Hartford born, Hartford bred. Yeah. All right. The, and, the the hub of classic country music, Hartford, Connecticut. <laughs> what? Nashville, Austin, Austin Hartford. Hartford. Yep. There you That's go. That's right. Yeah, they they go they just flow together. So you do perform a lot uh, with a live band, the outfit. Mm-hmm. You're going to be recording more with them. Mm-hmm. Tell us what what are in the plans you you mentioned and i thought this was very astute this has become a download society and so you sort of voluntarily chose to eschew the let's put out another cd and let's just drop singles for yeah. a while you gotta how much do you think about that you had also alluded to marketing 101 but this is a career you know well considering that i have three unopened boxes of my first cd in my son's closet at home <laughs> It, it's it's kind of hard to ignore sometimes, but you know it, it was my first one. There was a lot of excitement behind that, and you know I, I'm very proud of what that record was uh, and is. But um, you know it, people just don't buy CDs anymore. And had I thought about that a little bit more ahead of time, I don't buy CDs anymore. I can't remember the actually the last CD I bought was Jason Isbell's latest Something More Than Free, which I actually got in Canada last June, the day it came out. June or July, I forget which, but uh, I just don't buy them anymore. Yeah. I pony, I pony up the month every month, uh, the, the money every month for Spotify Premium, and I have access to pretty much anything that's ever been recorded that I'm interested in. I mean, I can't listen to Taylor Swift, Rats. She did you know? cut that out, didn't she? Yeah, she did. But you know, I, I'm okay with that. I'm good. Hey, she's a local girl, you know. Sure. She's She's got like nine houses, so I think she's probably local to just about everywhere at this point. Well, speaking of shameless plugs, you guys should go on the day and try to find uh, the video that Pete Woppy and I did when the day sent us over to her house to ask people, like, what's it like being around Taylor? It was, a sh- it was an embarrassing day, wasn't it, Pete? It certainly was. Anyway. For those of you that can't see, Pete's doing this right now. <laughs> oh, the house over in Rhode Island, you mean? Yes. Oh, okay. Very nice. Very nice. Uh, but listen, I don't, I don't so even though Jeff doesn't buy CDs anymore, <laughs> a lot of you guys do and can. And look at that. T-shirts. you got merch here. I do. I want you all to move some merch I do. for Jeff. Mm-hmm. Where can people find out more about you online? JeffPresh.com. Spell that for everybody. P-R-Z-E-C-H. Got it. Now you can understand why I called the first record Sounds Like Fresh. Yep. Looks Like an Accident, Sounds Like Fresh. That's that's my name. <laughs> but, uh, where are y'all playing next? Uh, let's see. Where am I playing next? I'm playing tomorrow afternoon over at Lenny's in Old Lyme. Just doing a little, you know, beach gig. Have why a little not? fun with yeah. a guy named Brant Taylor. He's been on, on this show. Has he? I, yeah. Believe it or not, I've never actually met him, but I'm doing, oh, a, I'm doing a gig with him tomorrow. Yeah, well, We, we have a lot of friends in common. And then uh, next week, uh, my drummer Evan and I are doing a little mini tour of New England. We're doing 
uh, Stockbridge, Mass. Then we're doing Burlington, Vermont. Go over to Portland, Maine. Yes, right on. And then uh, into New Hampshire. You know, every one of those locations is just full of full of craft beer. I think beer. he's going to park right out in front here, <laughs> judging by that. Craft see, beer, every one of those places. I see the way you think. Uh -huh, I see absolutely. the way you think. All right, I've blathered again way too long. Would you guys like to hear some more from Jeff? <laughs> Jeff Press. I can do that. Well, Rick wrote a very nice little blurb about me in the day yesterday that I happened upon online. And uh, one of the songs he mentioned, I believe the adjective he used to describe it was beautiful, which I appreciate very much. Um, some of the songs I write are just, you know, stories, they're narratives, but some of them are very real, very close to home. And this next one is a song that I started writing probably about 2004. And... It's about my daughter, who's sitting here in the front row. Hi, sweetie. Um, and I tried and tried and tried and tried and tried to write it, and I actually didn't wind up finishing it until I was standing in front of the microphone singing the vocals. So it took me the better part of 10 years to, to write and get right, and hopefully I did. Um, I don't play this song out very often because it's, you know, it's, very, it's a very personal tune to me, but uh, because she's here today, this is for my daughter. Her name is Julia Rose, and so is the song, and it goes like this. that you see Watch you sleep at night We're angel Rest so peacefully Watch you smile sometimes As you dream I hope of joyful things When tomorrow comes We'll be here yeah, what it will bring The most perfect thing I'll ever know I want you to reach for me so I can hold you if only for a while. You see the charm in simple things that lead your own parade. In the innocence, in your face. I hope it never fades, hasn't yet. The most perfect thing I'll ever know. Me when 
took that little hand and put it inside mine. Hope that you will always be just who you want to be. Cause I know that through your eyes you see the good in me. The perfect thing I'll ever know. Thanks very much. By the way, I'm hoping my son Cody is watching on the computer where he is now too. So if you are, hi buddy. He's a big Eagles fan, so five years old he digs the Eagles, so who's doing who's doing well as a dad? Right here, okay. Picture in a shoebox on the bottom shelf. I used to think you knew me better than I knew myself. Colors slightly fade, yet you slightly break. Moments long, long gone now, but the memories have stayed. Some are worth a thousand words, but this one's worth just three. Voice still echoes in my head when you swore that you loved me. My heart's been broke so many times, I'm surprised that it still beats. And I can say I've lived and I've learned. You better learn to swim, cause that ship's already sailing. Trying to tame the sun and I'll wind up getting burned. When the best of times turn out to be the worst You're my second favorite memory All the rest are tied to first A bit too much, a bit too soon Now it's just too late You left me feeling something I could not articulate No time to smell the roses Before they all died Couldn't keep the thorns out of my sight You were a sight for sore eyes But I looked a bit too long I guess we've all got the right to be wrong Heart's been broke so many times, I'm surprised that it's still me. And I can say I've been and I've learned. You better learn to swim, cause that ship's already sailed. Try to tame the sun and I'll wind up getting burned. When a blessing suddenly becomes a curse, you're my second favorite memory. And all the rest are tied to first. Always say it wasn't you, that was just a lie. Suppose it might have been me too, but at least I tried. You wrote the part, now you have to play the role. No reparations for every moment that you stole. You burned out every bridge, just the ashes left behind. That ain't my kind of kind Well, my heart's been so many times I'm surprised and it still be I 
You're my second favorite memory All the rest of time for first Thank you. Thanks very much. That song's called Second Favorite Memory. That's a bit of a newer one. I guess all these are new ones for most of you, but uh, that one's new even for me, too, a little bit. I'm gonna do uh, I'm gonna do one more song off my first record. Um, bit of a love song, I guess. The song's called "Make a Wrong Thing Right," which uh, I guess we all try to do at some point in our lives, don't we? I feel like I should be singing Seagull by Bad Company now. I've done all I can do, said all I can say. All that's left for me is to hope it ain't bad as anyway. I opened up the door, if you're so inclined, the next school belongs to you, and I'm waiting for a sign. All I can do is all I can do. Every word I said to you is true. To love me in perfection before we say goodnight. I'm doing all I can to make a wrong thing right. So tell me what's on your mind. Tell me what you see. Don't be afraid, I promise you, it's all safe with me. You're coming closer, you don't need to turn away. I don't take this casually, no, it's never been my way. And all I can do is all I can do. Every word I said to you is true. It's a lovely imperfection. Before we say goodnight, do it all I can, make a wrong thing right. Thank you. Thanks a lot. 
Well, thank you very much for coming and hanging out in this beautiful day. You must feel real nice in the shade. <clears throat> Sorry, right. if I need to change shirts, I think I have a couple extras in there for, for the ride home. But, uh, once again, my name is Jeff Presh. Thank you very much for coming out here and listening and being so receptive and so kind. I appreciate that. Um, I'm going to do one more song for you. I do have an email list up here. I send out an email newsletter once a month or for anybody watching at home or at work. I'm not going to judge you if you're watching at work. That's fine. Those TPS reports can wait till later anyway. Um, if you go to jeffpresh.com, um, I'm sure the spelling of my name is on the day's website. You can sign up for my email list there. I send out once a month just to let people know what's going on and mostly where I'll be playing and stuff like that. Uh, I also have you know copies of my first record up here and uh, download cards for a whopping one dollar for uh, for our new single under your skin that I played earlier and then obviously also the t-shirts too, which are really really great for the summertime, I must say. I thought my daughter was going to wear hers today and do a little modeling. Nice job. <laughs> Sorry, I like that one too. All right, so I'm going to do one more song. This is going to be the next single uh, for uh, Jeff Presh and the Outfit. This is coming out in um, August, probably late August. Um, it's a song I wrote a few years ago, and it's really, you know, I talk about uh, you know writing from what you know. This one is just completely and totally made up and isn't about anything. It's just a bunch of words that went together. Um, this, this name popped into my head, Maribel. I'd never met anybody with that name, still haven't. Um, but just a song about a person who may or may not exist, but the song's called Maribel. Turn out like you thought that it was 
may have been wrong, but sure was good. Thanks a lot, everybody. Enjoy the rest of your week and weekends. Hope to see you soon. Thank you. Jeff Fresh. Thank you so much, Jeff. Thank Tremendous. You for you. That was fun. That was a lot of fun. CDs, t shirts, download cards. Download cards. Yeah. Well, thank you guys for being here at the first live lunch break of the season here in the Hygienic Art Park. We'll do it again next week with the River Gods and uh, hometown faves. So. Hey, Sherry, thank you for dispensing the cold beer back there. Desiree with the hot dog cart. Keith for getting the sound right in the park. Pete and Connor for the World Wide Web. Thank you, guys. My name is Rick Koster, and pay attention to the day.com, and don't forget Jeff Fresh, Hartford-born, Hartford-bred.